hi it's jess here from my jessa creates welcome back to my channel so i'm going to make some mini little vellum um, clusters i've made um, them recently but much bigger for a mass make um, i'm going to do a bit of a mass make today but i'm doing them a little bit um, smaller um, i'll show you how i've used them so i've just used them in this journal that i'm currently making um, so just a little cluster there on the side of that and then i've used it there on the back of an envelope so i need to make more because i've just decorated one signature and i want to um, show you um, how i did that doing bit by bit so the first thing i thought we'd do is make our little clusters um, so i've got this beautiful um, pattern vellum um, it comes in 12 by 12 by 12 sheets um, but i've got it in um, i've cut it down um, so you get one that's got script like this one that's mapped one that's like um, like it's in a book or a newspaper um, and this is black on the vellum and then it also comes in white so this one was done on the white and you see the white writing on it but I'm going to use the black writing um, today and um, what I did was I did the alcohol technique on the back and then I've got all my bits and bobs cut out to to stick on so I'm going to move those out of the way for the moment and I've got some alcohol markers to do the alcohol technique and I got um, some alcohol I had to label it alcohol because it looks exactly the same as my glue so I did a quick little bit of labelling this morning. Um, I mean, you can tell by the viscosity, um, but I could just imagine me picking up alcohol by mistake, ruining my project. Now, for quickness, I'm using some punches. So we've got the postage. So let me... Uh, so this vellum is currently reduced. I think it's about £4.75 for a pack. And you get um, six sheets. Um, so you get one each of the black print, 12 by 12, and one each of the white print, 12 by 12. I'm, yeah, you don't get two, do you? Just get one. Um, I'm trying to find the packet so I can tell you for sure. Oh, you get 12 sheets, so you get two. I lied. So you get two of each 12 by 12 pattern two each of the three patterns in black, two each of the three black patterns in the white. That's the white. Um, so, yeah, I love this vellum. Loads and loads of uses for it. Um, this is retiring as well, sadly. Um, but I'm going to use the two-inch circle punch and the one-and-three-quarter-inch circle punch, which have been brought back, and are, but they're only available in the online shop so if you go on the online shop and search circle punches they'll they'll come up so let me let me show you what i'm doing so we've got a right side and a wrong side so that's the right side um, because the words are around the right way and it's much darker whereas that's the duller side the words are around the wrong way and the black isn't so prominent. I'm going to work on the wrong side. I mean, I guess it's preference. You could do it on the other as well, whichever. I'll show you the effects of both sides and you can make your mind up. So, um, got an alcohol marker. These are the Stampin' Up blends, which match the inks. This is Soft Suede which sadly is also retiring. You can pick up a soft suede um, stamp set cheaply. It's reduced. Um, I was tempted to buy another one, but I already have two. <laughs> so just randomly, so the, the, the blends come in a dark and a light shade of the same colour. And if you're colouring, they blend really nicely together and even 
if you're not very good at colouring like myself, they, they can make you look good. So just going round, this is crumb cake, which is not retiring. Thank goodness, can only cope with so many of my favourite colours going. There is new colours coming in and I have ordered them. Not all of them, some of them. I only needed four of the new colours that are coming back in, but I haven't ordered all four because I don't like them all. Um, and we've got the new in colours as well. I've ordered two of them because I didn't like them all. But obviously I have to wait for that to come through. So that is... That looks a total and utter mess. Yes, it does. So I'm going to get, just going to put a little, um, little board down there. Let's see it a little bit better on that. So then I've got me alcohol and I'm just going to put a few, actually glue chairs. Do you know, I even... Just goes to show that even with even with labelling it, I got it wrong. But there we go. It, so I'm just dropping drops of this alcohol, and it works with the alcohol in the marker. You can see it moving about. Okay, you can see it already without doing anything that that colour is beginning to move. See it there. You can speed up this process and you can go backwards and forwards with this process. But you can speed it up with a heat gun. So it'll be a bit noisy, but I want you to see um, that this will move the alcohol round even more. So I'm, I'm not going too close. And you can sort of poke the alcohol into different directions. And try and get some of those darker lines there. Dried up. So you can see what's happening there. I do quite like this effect. Obviously, there's some splodges there that I haven't um, done yet. And let's see what's happening on the other side. So it's a little bit subtler on the other side. So you could put this on the right side if you wanted. Anyway, I've got some splodges that I didn't do deliberately. So I'm going to come in with those now. Didn't want to make one almighty mess first time round there we go so they're moving already and you can see the effect you get which you could just leave to dry if you wanted that I'm going to give it a little bit of a move around And the other thing you can do, you can go, it's got quite light there. I want a bit more colour. Put a bit more in there. Put a bit more in there. Put a bit more in there. There's still little bits there that haven't moved. So you can just, and you can add to what's already been done. It will reactivate where you want my... We might want to move the colour around a bit more.
And if we look on that side, this kind of gives you a little bit more of an idea where you might have some lighter bits that you might want to add to. You might think that looks all a little bit too uniform and um, you might want to add a bit more. So I'm just doing it to the one side. So the further away you go, the more it's likely to sort of dry as it is. And the closer you go, the more you're sort of changing it up. So we've got a bit more of a smudginess going on there as opposed to having these sort of darker outlines. But I really quite like the darker outlines. So and that's what it looks like on the other side. So you've got the kind of shiny a bit where they're really, really dark there see that sort of shine there which I didn't want to see which is why I like it on that side so that is the, the the prep and you can do this with plain and you could do it with um stamping I mean with stamping I definitely stamp on one side and move your alcohol around the other okay so now I just gonna punch my shapes for the for the um, for the clusters so I'll get some circle ones you can of course just use a trimmer or die cut them whatever whatever you want you could tear them they do not have to be done this way I'm now going to just snip that off so I can get the punches in and I do some one and three quarter inch because this is a sort of a mini journal I just wanted littler littler clusters than the ones that I'd previously made. The ones I previously made were quite big. But everything in this journal is a little bit littler because it's like a five inch square journal, really. There we go. So we've got some nice little circles. Let's have a few more postage stamps. Might go up this straighter edge, which is a bit easier. always use my punches this way up so that I can actually see what I'm punching and know that I've got it all in. I'm struggling. Yeah, there we go. I think there must have been something in the way. I might come in and do a circle one there. Don't want to waste too much paper. There we go. By going upside down, you can properly see where all the spaces are. Now, I would probably keep that and not chuck it away. That go in my scrap. That's that's quite nice. As a matter of fact, it'll all go in my scrap. Well, my kid in. I don't chuck nothing away. So there we go. So let's have. Do that. Ooh. There we go. And let's have some little three quarter of an inch circle. Not sure that I'll get two of these out. There 
Can I get another one? No. No, I won't. But I have got a little square postage stamp punch. Which is long since retired. But I got it. Got to use it. There we go. So, got a few scraps left over. Which I'll put in my scrap pile. I've got a big box, a shoe box, that I've started chucking in when I finish a project chucking in the leftovers and I plan to do a, a bit of a um, make from my scrap box. So that is, let's, I'm just going to put my punches out of the way now because I don't need them. I'll finish with them right now. So we'll move out of the way. So we are now left with these little bases so let's make sure we put them all the right way round it's that way yeah so I've got loads out of that little that little bit So there they are. So what I what I did was I did do a bit of inking round the edges of these because, because that's what I do. You don't have to, but I just think they're a little, little bit better inked. Not sure how much that's showing up. What I like about vellum is when you cut vellum it's got a it's got quite a bit of a whitish edge to it and um, so it inks pretty well. So this is quite quite thick vellum So it does, it's nice and robust, I think. Do sell plain vellum as well, which, which I have printed on, I recently printed on it. Let's have a, is it a, is it close by to have a goosey gander? It is close by Jez, but whether you find the right slot, no. Nah. But you can print on it, so another way of getting marks on your vellum so I have bought another pack of this vellum because well why would you why would you, why not it's actually a really good price 12 sheets for 475 12 by 12 printed vellum absolute bargain Make envelopes out of them, make little bags out of them, just use them as pages in your journal. I have got in my mini journal, I have used vellum. If you've seen my sewing in the signatures, you can see that I did use, didn't use this vellum, used a different stamping up vellum, I think I think that one, Jez. So, yeah. Yeah, nearly, nearly done. And there we go. Sorry about that ping. That was a message. My friend Jill, Paper Daisy Crafting, sends me a message. There we 
Okay, and then the last one. So that is all of it inked up. There we are. And then, and you could, if you wanted to, go over with a blending brush to, you know, make it make it even darker. But we're going to do that afterwards anyway. So that is that is that for now. So there we go. And I mean, a circle's a circle, but the postage stamps, some of them are do the other way. So let's do two that way. Okay, two that way. Okay. But a circle's a circle, it doesn't really matter. And then I've got some bits and bobs to cover them with. So I've got my little tray here. And uh, so I've got lots and lots. So it's a blue themed journal. So I've got lots and lots of blue things. So I've got these blue butterflies, um, which I thought I need blue butterflies. So I just had a little look, see, on uh, one of the sites I go on to find copyright free images. And I found some different blue butterflies. I resized them, so I've got them in different sizes and um, they're in different shades of blue, but the paper's got little different shades of blue. So I thought they are perfect. So I've got some of them um, and I just printed them on 200 GSM card and um, cut them out on my scan and cut. First time I did it, I did it on paper, but it didn't like it so much. I mean, most of them came out. But um, I'm putting that there for inspiration. Um, but yeah, they um, didn't like it so much. I've got some tickets here. Um, I think these might be Artie Mays, these tickets. Um, so put a few of those there. And then I've got, this is um, Kerry Fellows. One of her bits and bobs kits i think it's number four it might be number four is like lots of different colors same things but in lots of different colors which is superb for matching to um projects that you're making and it was perfect for this so she's got these strips i cut them to two to a page because i wanted them littler than the big style so i've got lots of little blue adverts and lots and lots of there we go blue numbers so i just cut them out now none of these are inked um and i'm not going to ink them now I'm just going to stick them down because they do take time when when you're inking um and um so I got a little bit of a of a of a time saver. Right, so I'm not going to give it awful lot of thought what I'm doing. And basically a ticket, a number or an advert and a butterfly. So three things on my cluster. That's kind of rules of clustering. Is um for some reason I've got two together there. Obviously the scan and cut didn't see. Um see the line right let's get the different styles down here there's different sizes because i've got different size bases so here we go so we're going to start with um the ticket so there we go we'll have these tickets there that's quite large but it's okay Stick it there. Stick it there. Are you literally going to say tick it there, Jez, for all of them? Don't be daft. There we go. So. Little ones want little ones. So I think I probably printed these two to a page as well don't matter that i might use the same tickets on some because they're not going on the same page they're um 
they're going to be dotted around a journal. That. I might put that one on there actually. Let's do that. So there we go. That's my tickets on them. And then I'm going to put some, some with an advert. And some of them have got these dots. Now, depending on what. Um, what I do will depend on whether or not they need cutting out oh I know what I'm going to do on that because it's got a bit of red in it I'm going to do a number it's got a bit of red in it that's how I roll So I could stick that down there to cover the number, but actually, I don't think I want to. So. So I'll have to get my, I don't want reserved. I'll have to get my little copper dial out to cut that. Change to that. You want something way up there? There. Have that one. Something down here. Paris. Going to Paris in the summer. So I will be doing a little bit of a Frenchy themed um, journal. So now it's a matter of deciding on which butterfly is going to go where. I'm just dotting them around. Completely missed one there. How did that happen? No idea, Jez. Right, I want a few more butterflies out. Not got enough. I think I think it was eight designs that I picked out. That one's got a bit cut out of it. Use that one. Let's do that one. There we go. So that is oh, one down here, Jez. One down here. Should I put a little one on there? Oh, I like that one. There we go. So that is them like so so then I'm deciding which one needs the whole cut out so we need a whole cut out of that one so I'm just using a little hole in my cropper dial could use a pokey tool I did do a pokey tool on one 
and um, I uh, didn't like the look of it. Because it doesn't take the paper out, it just pushes it. And, um, and what I'm also going to do is take my little scissors and there's like a little, a little bit up the bottom of the ticket that needs coming out as well. So, there we are. Taking it out of that one. Not taking it out of this one. Well, I've taken the little divot out, but not the scan and cut. Might have done that actually. I do like saving time when um, I cover it, but I'm not covering it, so let's do half of one there. And then these two. Doesn't now matter if I'm messing up because they're just going to get glued on so I'm, uh, I'm not bothered and the reason why I wanted these on vellum is because the paper that I'm using for this journal is so beautiful that I wanted to not cover it all up so uh, that is why I wanted some vellum base clusters. Right, two more. Oh. So once I've done that, I'll then bring you a video. of the mass making of the tags and that adding these to pages which will then be which will then be a done so there we go so we got that and say so I am not inking just bring in my glue so for each of them we glue down the ticket first and as I you can see the brown lunch bag throughout the journal, which is why I've sort of kept this sort of colour. So I'd, we'd be here for ever and a day if I was inking every edge of this cluster. So I am. Um, show you a quick way there we go just take a little bit of mopping up so there we go first one done So, I hope everybody's having a lovely day. The sun is shining. There is a nip in the air, though. I actually put the heating on for a boost for an hour. I'm very rarely cold in my craft room, but I am sat here with a blanket over my knees, which is very unusual for me. And, um, and I thought, well, I'll just put the heating on for an hour and um, see how I feel. There we go, that one. So the scan and cut, don't cut round the antennas and don't want it as on a couple, but I don't bother me at all. 
was watching Kerry the Crafter the other day and he was talking about butterflies and he was like, I mean he fussy cuts, he doesn't use a machine and he says he just cuts them off. Life's too short to cut round antennas. And you can draw them in. I've actually got a stamp set with a stamp for antennas. Different sizes, small ones and large ones. So I do sometimes use that. But for the most part, I just leave them off. This is just a little decorative bit on a page. So I am not fussing about that. I am going to keep this to the grid lines on the map. I was going to do this in the different, you know, not just the map. I was going to do it. I was going to see the three different styles, but that's gone for a Burton, that idea, isn't it? Okay. So. This is. We cover that hole up. That's why you didn't plug it out. So I think once you, I'm 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 open to get this done in under an hour. And then once you've got these in your stash, they're just so easy to pick up and add to your project. I mean, I'll probably be using all of these in this one journal. The, um, because it's a three signature journal, so even though it's a little five by five, it's got 120 pages in it. So that's quite a lot, quite a lot. So some of these will go on corners of pages. Some will extend a tuck. Some will go on tags. And it keeps the continuity throughout the journal which is something that I wanted to do. So the paper's all very fauna, leaves and bits. So having some butterflies goes quite well with that. Having this theme of a neutral colour ticket, a blue number or advert, and a blue butterfly makes the process quicker. So you could do this with all sorts. I've got some, I've got some paper dolls. I just got a kit from Tracy Fox. I won a mass make challenge that she did in the group last month. And um so I chose a new family, I think they're called family portraits. So make some nice sort of like Polaroid photo things. And um, there was a load of paper dolls and she's colorized them. So I've cut, I've cut some out already to use. So when, uh, when this journal's finished, I will get playing with those. and they would look good on this so instead of a butterfly I'd put some people so I'd have people like standing on this and leaning on that or sitting on that love doing that and butterflies I would actually I was thinking I would I want to make some of these butterflies bigger 
to put behind some people because I love that look. These look good on top of pockets as well. And I have used them on the centre pockets of the signature. So four of these will go on the other two signature centre pockets. Is that upside down? Yeah. Good job I noticed that before it fully dried. Don't think any of the others I've done upside down. So yeah, changing these butterflies to a thicker card was a good move. Can of course speed me up if this is all a bit tedious and boring now. Um, you can double, not double the speed. Well, you could double the speed, but I might sound a little bit pinky and perky um, or chip monkey. Um, but if you do one and our speed, sound pretty normal still how I watch most of my YouTube one and a half speed because I want to watch so much I ain't got the time uh, there we go nearly done and then the first ones I've done will be dry enough to do the next stage the the inking stage. Which is a time saver. So I think although I've used the same sort of theme for them all, they all look different because they've got a different shape background. I've used different tickets, different blue butterflies and different small blue ephemera. So they're no two are the same. If two have turned out the same, that would be just a fluke. Just a fluke. I didn't notice until I was cutting out the second lot of small blue things. I think once I'd cut all the adverts out, I think, and then I started cutting the numbers out. And that's when I noticed that actually they're repeated on the page. So I do have some repeats of them. but And I've got loads of repeats of the butterflies. Because I only did eight and then I filled a page, just changed the sizes. And I'm sure if I'd looked further, I'd have found even more. But I just wanted it quick. And I do have fussy cut butterflies already, but they're all different colours. And I was going to go through that and pick out all my blue ones. And then I thought, I'm not going to have enough blue ones. So let's just have a blue sheet. There we go. Last one, I believe. All right, 45 minutes we've been going nearly. 44. 44 minutes and 8 seconds at the moment that I was saying that. It's now gone up to 14 seconds. Um, oh, no, there's one there to do. And you can see the difference between having a white background and a black background. Black does show up, but the white still works because the paper's got that white in it. Well, I've tea dyed it, so it's not actually white, but I think the effect is, is good. There we go. 
this is definitely the last one. And this is going to save so much time now. And I'm putting the rest of the journal together. The um, I haven't put these on many of the tags because I don't want to cover up the paper. So... There we go. So that's that. Now, what I did, bring it in. You can see the mess there. Let's, let's have a bit here. So what I did was I took a blending brush, got some ink, and this is what I do when I do masterboards. I don't ink around the individual things I'm putting down on a masterboard. I ink afterwards. And the brushes pick up the edges and they then all get they all get inked. So you can see there, got white bits there. We're not inked around the edges, but come in with our brush. This is why you got to wait till it's dried. Because if I hadn't, all I'd be doing was moving it around. And then that also adds a little bit more colour. So if we take that one versus that one. You can see the difference there in the colour where it's been inked. So it takes that blue back a little bit. You can see sort of the line is better down there. And then also the background's a bit, a bit browner. So that is my quick way. And then also where I've cut out the, the hole in the ticket. That's covered as well. In there in that little split. And that is so much quicker than if I'd inked every little individual bit. So much quicker. And what I am going to do, there might be the odd one there, like there, there's too much white there, so I'm just gonna just gonna go down, cut him off. Don't want it. Get rid. And I might decide to take a little bit of there off. Oh, this gun and cut up hasn't quite gone where I want. I never, I very rarely cut a border. So with the scan and cut, you can set it to cut it so that there was a white border. I don't like the white borders. I like die cuts. No point about a die cut. 
because you don't have white borders. See, that was worth doing. That's already been done. And if you'd ripped your vellum, you'd get a nice edge as well on that, which is another way of doing it. Love the colour of this. It's like Pretty Peacock. Pretty Peacock is a beautiful colour from Stampin' Up. And um, it was an in colour a few years ago. And, um, and then, of course, they only last two years. But we've had a we're having a colour refresh, so when the new catalogue comes out beginning of May, we've had a colour refresh and pretty peacocks back. Yay! Very happy about that. I'm just oh you know. I don't strive for perfection. But then sometimes I'm like, yeah, now need a bit more on that, nearly a bit off that. So sometimes I do go in and take a bit off. Too much white there. Be coming off. Definitely coming off. There we go. I do end up, can you see, I look like I've smoked untipped cigarettes. I don't smoke at all, but I always end up with lots and lots of ink on my fingers. I always remember my dad used to smoke Kensitas. And occasionally wood pine <laughs> and uh, such strong fags and the uh, cigarettes for my American we call them fags and I know that's something different in America but um, yeah and he would they didn't have filters in them and um, I can't remember Kenstis did have filters or not I'm sure sometimes he used to just rip them off and uh, so yeah you'd often have yellow fingers okay is that all of them is there any hiding under there yep yeah, there was one hiding and I do quite like coming off the edge of a cluster like that I'm done so oh yeah well under the hour there that is a mass make clusters two four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen well one was already done so we've made fourteen and I think they're super. And let's just have a little, have a little look here where one of them's going to go. So I've got this map page. There we go. Map page. And here, you can put quite a big one on there. And we'll just sit in in the corner of the page. Now I could have a little tuck by but I'm not gonna. So what I did, right, dun, dun, dun. it is 
vellum and you can often see the glue. So what I do is take a glue stick and I've put glue stick all the way around the vellum so that way the whole lot's covered in glue. So that cuts down on your seeing through. And then I put glue, you can see where the elements are stuck down and I put glue all around those elements. So that way, if the glue stick wears off at all, it doesn't matter because it is a tiered on the other places. Where's my little, there, a little bit of, so then I'll just make sure that's straight. And so you can see through the vellum when it isn't altogether covered up. So that's how I've used it. There I used it on the edge of a, of a tuck. Love that look. Um, and I uh, used it on the front of an envelope there. So there we go. Hope that was useful. I always say that. I hope that was useful. Hope that gives you some ideas. And um, yeah, and I'll be back with you to do some more in my blue sunprints journal. Okay. Um, yeah, they'll all be in a playlist with, um, it's, I think I call it my lunch bag journal. That's what I've called it. Um, so, yeah. Do like and subscribe, do share. And, um, yeah, and if you're interested in any of the products from Stampin' Up, um, I will link them down below. Click on the links, takes you directly to my shop. If you're in America, Australia and New Zealand, um, you should be able to get them from a demo there if you're in the UK or Europe um, and Ireland. You can get them from me. How fab's that? All right then. Bye for now.